Hey, what is up guys? So today we're gonna talk about the Gear BR services, which may be killing your battery on the Galaxy Note 5. Let's go. So a couple of weeks ago, I noticed that the battery on my Galaxy Note 5 was basically draining pretty fast, even when I was not using it. And I noticed that there was this one app that kept on coming on and it was mainly using a lot of the battery life, even when I wasn't using it. For some of you that don't know what the Gear VR services are, so basically that's just for the virtual reality videos that you can watch uh, using your Gear headset. So, and when you're not using it, you shouldn't really be using your battery, right? So. Keep it in mind, if you do want to use these headsets, just make sure you don't go and disable or change any of the settings. And if you do, make sure you remember so you can turn them on because it may impact some of the, on how this application may work in the future. I noticed online there was a lot of threads about this topic. Uh, seems a lot of people were impacted on the Galaxy S7, the Galaxy S8, Note 4, Note 5. For some reason, this is one of the system apps that you cannot uninstall, you cannot disable it, it's there but this is gonna be a workaround where you can limit the data usage so basically it doesn't run in the background as much as it usually does and drains your battery. All right guys, so before you start messing with the settings, just keep it in mind, this is just a workaround. Uh, there's other things you can do. For example, there's a third party app you can use to disable some of the system apps, but this is just a quick workaround. And if you're not really sure, please just uh, watch the video a few times, ask any questions, because if you change some of the settings and you may use, wanna use some of these services in the future, they may impact you if you forget to turn them back on. So real quick, the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and enable the data saver. And for this, what we do, we basically wanna go scroll down the notifications, top right hand side, click on the settings. Then we're gonna click on connections. In connections, we're gonna go down to data usage. In data usage, we're gonna go ahead and enable data saver. So we click there, just turn it on. This is basically gonna limit the background usage of the applications on the data. So this is gonna keep them from running and allow you as a workaround to keep this app from running as well and using your battery. So once you turn that on, you're gonna notice that there's gonna be an icon that is gonna come on. And this is basically gonna be showing there. This is the Samsung Plus icon, I believe. So, I mean, if it doesn't bother you, it's just gonna be there. But I mean, just to remind you that you have the data saver on. Once you turn it back off, it, this will go away. So again, we bring the notifications, go to settings. Settings, we're gonna go to apps. In the apps, again, we're gonna go top right hand side and we're gonna click on special access. Under special access, we're gonna go look for allow unrestricted data usage. You click there. Again, top right hand side, you're gonna click on show system apps. This is to make sure it shows all the apps that we're hitting. And you're gonna notice that a lot of them are gonna have this on. Don't mess with any of the apps unless you know what they are. This may impact the functionality of the phone. So we're gonna scroll down to gear BR services. All right, so you notice there's multiple applications for gear BR services. So we're just gonna basically turn them all off. We don't wanna give them access to run in the background and use data when you're not using them. So this is basically just a quick workaround that it's gonna help you save battery because that's gonna stop these apps from running, using the data or mainly using some of your battery. If you just check the rest, you may see a few other apps for the gear services. Uh, you can turn them off if they're on like Oculus and other, other apps. Again, if you're not sure of some of these apps, don't mess with them. And always just remember to come back and, and turn them on if, if you have to or you feel like you're impacted while you're using the actual VR services in the future. Now, I did also check the Galaxy Note 8 and the Galaxy Note 9. And I noticed that this was really not impacting the battery, maybe because they have a battery, larger battery size. Or maybe Samsung did a better job with the software uh, optimization where it doesn't use the battery. But uh, on the Galaxy Note 4, I noticed a similar pattern where it uses at least between five to 10% of the battery sometimes. Uh, like I just checked this last time and it was already using about 3% and I have not even gone through half of the battery life since the last charge. So uh, for the Galaxy Note 4, you're not gonna be able to do this. this. This feature started working for the Galaxy Note 5 that when the Nougat came out and latest, latest updates, uh, you're gonna be able to have this feature to restrict the uh, data usage. Something you're not gonna be able to do with the marshmallow. But if you guys know of any other way or anything that you want me to cover, I'm gonna try to do more research. Let me know in the comment section below. Consider subscribing. We're always making videos on the Galaxy Note phones. Thank you for watching. Make sure to smash the like button if you enjoyed this content and I'll see you on the next one.